Two-time Winter Olympian Amy Fuller has been walking a mile with athletes ahead of the Games. She dived into a chat with Tom before he left for Tokyo. You're about to embark on your journey to your fourth Olympics. Yes. You're definitely one of the, the older men on the team I am now. the oldest on the diving team, you know, I'm the granddad of diving. I feel like all of my perspectives have like completely shifted, like becoming a parent, getting married, and you know, now I just know that there's more to life than just diving. So I'm a parent, you know, I'm a husband, and just knowing that going into a competition, I just don't seem to be putting as much pressure on myself. You are young in the grand scheme of things. It's just you've got so many younger peers, probably because it's a young you've, sport. <laughs> well, and you've created this legacy yeah. with London 2012 and, and proved that it's possible. It's, it, it's actually quite amazing how, since the London 2012 Olympic Games, how much depth there is in British diving now. run-up to this Olympic Games has been for you? We've gone from having no competitions, then all of a sudden being thrown in the deep end, pardon the pun, uh, <laughs> to the World Cup and the European Championships back to back. So we were in Japan, we were in the Olympic pool, so it was amazing to be able to get the opportunity to dive there. I came away with two golds there, which was really great, you know, the first time diving in person with other people again. With diving, is there a sort of particular weight that you sort of have to aim to be within and around? I usually compete around like 72 to 73 kilos. I usually train at around 74. And then as we start to taper, like our body changes and like we go into peak season and all that kind of stuff, and my weight will come down. But you know, it's all about balance to me. You also embarked on a, on a knitting journey. Is that oh, something that yes. will come with you to Tokyo? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, my one worry is that I'm gonna run out of yarn when I get to, oh, <laughs> when I get no. to Tokyo or something like that. But yeah, basically, put it this way, I'm obsessed. <laughs> what are we going to see you wearing next out of your uh, knitting creations? We've seen, are they called budgies or do you call them trunks? Trunks, budgies, <laughs> whatever, skimps. What, are we going to see a Union Jack skimp set up? Oh, you know what? Imagine I'm... post games. <laughs> that, <that's laughs> I mean, the thing is, wool doesn't get wet very well. I think I would have to like incorporate some kind of drawstring or something like that. What are your aspirations? Is the best of Tom Daly yet to come. You always want to be keeping going forwards and forwards and up and up. And you know, there's no reason why I can't do that. You train for four years, this time five, for that one moment. And I find that athletes often torture themselves through that experience with pressure and nerves. And at the end of the day, I just want to go there and have fun and enjoy it, like I did in 2008, rather than like torturing myself through the experience. So fear is excitement without breathing. I think the power of visualization is so strong and it's literally as simple as closing your eyes yep. and just imagining yourself doing Are you are achieving. you closing your eyes now? Yeah. <laughs> You're not, <laughs> no, are you? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I think that is something like a mantra that I've, you know, lived by for a very long time now because if you do work hard and you put 100% in, that's how you can get 100% out. He seems to be in a really good place yeah. this time around, doesn't he? Yeah, it's exciting. We wish him all the very best Thank for that you. gold medal. And by the way, there are five episodes of the Olympic Mile podcast, including chats with Helen Glover, her comeback, of course, and Jay Jones. And more episodes will be released throughout the Games when Amy will be catching up with the athletes in Tokyo. So that's the Olympic Mile available on BBC Sound.